What is going on everybody? This is Tatro here with Roly today to talk to you about making music with the Seaboard Rise 2 and Ableton Live. At this point, we've already downloaded all the associated software for our Rise 2 and we're going to start by getting connected. First, let's power the device on and we can either connect via Bluetooth or like I'm going to do right now via USB. And now that we've got the Rise 2 connected, let's open up Ableton Live and go to Live, Preferences, and let's make sure we have the correct settings to get the full potential out of the Rise 2. Under Link Tempo and MIDI, find MIDI ports, and let's find the Seaboard Rise and make sure that Track and MPE are both checked. If we don't check this MPE box, the Rise 2 is just going to behave like a normal keyboard MIDI controller, but since we want to unlock the full potential of the Rise 2, we're going to make sure that box is checked. All right, so if I exit the preferences, I'm going to load up a very simple instrument here from Live Simpler Instrument. Let's find a simple piano and keyboard sound. This E piano sound should work. And you'll notice the little MPE sign here. That is because Simpler is a sample instrument in Ableton Live that is MPE compatible. So if I play a note, you'll see I'm able to glide around the keyboard, which is unusual because this is a unique instrument. So of course I can play normal chords and play it like a keyboard instrument, but this is our first added layer of control that the Rise 2 gives us. You might even notice that if I play two adjacent notes, they sort of glide between one another. Now this is just a basic example because we're only using Live's Simpler, but I'd also like to note that this can all be edited via Rolly Dashboard. And we can have Rolly Dashboard open at the same time as Ableton Live. So I've got mine docked up here. If I open Rolly Dashboard, I have all these controls available to me. And in fact, it will track my key movements and show me exactly what's happening on the keyboard in Rolly Dashboard with Live in the background. Now, just notice that we are in MPE mode. However, if we didn't want to be in MPE mode, we could go to piano mode. As you can see, there's no more gliding around. We're just playing notes. Now the keyboard's going to act like a traditional piano controller, which is helpful in some instances. So that option is there for you. I'm going to switch us back to MPE mode. Now this note glide is an option we can toggle in dashboard as well called semitone legato. If I turn that off, that'll no longer happen. If I turn it back on, get that nice glide sound. But we've only been talking about glide so far. What about slide and pressure and lift? And to demonstrate that, I want to actually open up Equator 2 as a VST within Ableton Live. So if I go to plugins and in the search bar, I type Rolly. Then I open the VST3 folder. Mac users, you can also use the audio units folder as well. I can drop in Equator 2 onto an empty MIDI track. Equator 2 is a hybrid instrument designed by Roly with MPE in mind, so every sound has some dynamic aspect to it that takes advantage of the different gestures we can control. In Equator 2, if we look at the list of presets here, you're going to see some with a blue icon and some with an orange icon. The orange icon represents non-MPE instruments, while the blue icons represent MPE instruments. And we can also sort by just MPE instruments, we can sort by different sounds, different characteristics, and which engine we'd like to use. Let's stick in Equator 2 for now. Scrolling down the preset list here, I'm a fan of this sound. We had the same dream, so let's load that up. If I click on the name again, we can get rid of the preset list, and let's hear what it sounds like. It's kind of this nice synthy electric keyboard sound, and of course we can glide around just like we could in the previous sound. We can also slide our notes up and down. This is going to change the characteristic of the sound. We can hear we get that bright buzzy noise as I slide up the key. And if you pay attention to the interface in Equator 2, you're going to see that each of our notes are tracked and that we can move individual notes independently from one another, meaning that we can slide some notes while leaving others in a steady position. Let's load up another sound here. I'm going to find an acoustic orchestral sound. And let's load up this cello pizzicato sound. A seemingly normal sounding pizzicato sound, but if I hold notes down, I can actually get a bowed sound. So on the rise too, this is called pressure. So 
we can go from having this short little sound to a full-on bowed sound. And you notice that right in Equator 2, we have control over these gestures. For instance, maybe I would like the pressure curve to change so it's something I can more easily activate with less pressure. So let's adjust that curve here. So now it takes a lot less pressure to engage that sound. I could also change it so I have to apply a lot of pressure to get that sound to happen. Let's load up another sound from Equator 2. This time, let's find a keyboard sound. Let's try Crystal EP. It's a really beautiful sound and there's a lot going on. But let's say I do want to play this closer to a traditional keyboard instrument without having to worry too much about accidentally gliding. You know, it is easy to play this keyboard. And we can feel our way around, but since it doesn't have hard keys, it can be easier to accidentally slip to an incorrect note unintentionally. I can adjust the degree at which some of these gestures happen right here on the rise too. So for instance, I can control the degree of glide we have here from this first slider. Now, if I bring up dashboard one more time so you can see, you will notice that these symbols here are the same as on the rise too: glide, slide, and pressure. So any of those can be controlled from right here on the controller without having to open dashboard. So now let's just take away the glide. It's completely gone. Let's just lessen it to a degree. So there I'm still able to glide, but now I can be slightly more intentional with when I do it. I won't accidentally do it if I have it at about 40% or so. Also notice too that we have an XY pad here and pay attention to the screen on Equator 2. You see that we're actually controlling some cool effects. some chorus aspects on the XY for this instrument. And each instrument in Equator 2 will have different assignments for that XY pad. If I press the power button, we'll no longer see those symbols at the top of these faders. And that means that we can actually map the Rise 2 to whatever we want in our DAW. But to do this, let's just double check one more thing in the preferences. Go to Live, Preferences, Link Tempo and MIDI. And next to the Rise keyboard, make sure you have Remote checked. If Remote is not checked, we will not be able to make custom mappings. So I like this sound, but I'd actually like to put some type of auto filter on it. So let me go to my Audio Effects, EQ and Filters, and find Auto Filter. Let's map this frequency knob to one of our faders here. If I go into MIDI map mode by clicking this MIDI button up here, we'll get a screen where everything has turned blue. Now let's click on what we want to actually map. That is the filter frequency of our auto filter. And now let's touch the control we would like to map to that knob. As you can see, a little number appeared and we've added it to our list. Let's get out of MIDI map mode. And now let's just adjust this fader here, and now we have control of the auto filter's frequency. Not only that, but we have two more knobs that we could possibly map to some other effects. Let's add a delay. If I go to delay, let's add a clean delay. Dotted quarter note sounds fine. And let's actually just MIDI map this once again, clicking the MIDI button in the top. Let's map the dry wet of the delay to the second fader. Boom, it shows up right there in our list. Now I have control over the dry wet.
One quick other tip here is that if you're MIDI mapping a control and say I never want that delay to go to 90%, say I never actually want it to go above 60%, we can control that in Ableton Live back in that MIDI map mode. If you look at this list, we have minimum and maximum values here. So let's set the maximum value for the dry wet on the delay to 60%. Go out of MIDI map mode. Now let's adjust the fader. And what you will notice is when I reach the top of the fader, the max it can reach is 60%. Then we've still got one fader left that we could map, and you've guessed right, you can also map the XY pad. Where the rise to really shines is where you're trying to play an instrument that actually requires some more nuanced gestural control that a normal MIDI keyboard can't give you. So if I load up this classical violin sound, of course we want note on and off. That goes without saying, but a true violin player could add more pressure to their bow. They can also add vibrato. And down to notes. So when I load up this string ensemble, Just by playing with two fingers, you can hear that I'm already getting a more realistic sound out of this string instrument than I would if I was just playing a normal MIDI keyboard because I have access to those gestures. Of course, that's the realism factor, and you can apply that to guitars and strings and other real instruments. But also, there's something so nice about playing a synth sound. And being able to evolve in ways that you otherwise wouldn't be able to. It's a lot of fun. And just like we talked about before, you can turn off all those gestures. So if you just want the Rise 2 to function as a normal MIDI keyboard in some instances, that is your option. So that is how to get started making music with the Rise 2 in Ableton Live. You can find more resources at the link in the description and on this channel. My name is Tatro. I have my own YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Tatro. So especially if you're looking to learn more about Ableton Live, you can find me over there. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Tatro for Rolly. Have a good one.